Steve Kerr. Steve Kerr is an eight-time NBA champion who is now the head coach for the Golden State Warriors. Despite starting just 30 games in his entire pro career, Kerr's NBA resume is unmatched. As a player, the three-point sharpshooter earned five championship rings, three with the Chicago Bulls and two with San Antonio, as well as three with the Warriors as a head coach. In this video, let's take a look at how good Steve Kerr truthfully was. Before becoming part of the three-peat champion team, Kerr played basketball for the University of Arizona. In the summer of 1986, Kerr was named to the USA basketball team that competed in the FIBA World Championship in Spain. The team was the last American men's senior team composed strictly of amateur players to capture a gold medal. He blew his knee in the tournament, usually a career-ending injury, forcing him to miss an entire 1986-87 season at Arizona. In 1988, he helped the Wildcats reach the Final Four of the NCAA Division I basketball along with fellow All-American teammate Sean Elliott. Kerr also set an NCAA record for three-point percentage in a season. Known for his long-range shooting and dry sense of humor, the low-key Kerr was drafted by Phoenix, spent several seasons with Cleveland, and briefly Orlando before signing with the Chicago Bulls in 1993. The Bulls made the playoffs in the 1993-94 and 1994-95 seasons, but without Michael Jordan's presence for all those seasons, the team could not advance to the finals. Once Michael Jordan returned in 1995-96, Kerr became an integral part of the team's second championship 3 p The Bulls set a then-NBA record of 72-10 and, and defeated the Seattle Supersonics in the 1996 NBA Finals. In the 1997 NBA Finals vs. Utah, Kerr was best known for his Game 6 buzzer beater. With the score tied at 86, Jordan passed the ball to Kerr, who hit the game winner for the championship. That same year, Kerr won the All-Star Game's three-point contest. During the last minute of Game 2 of the 1998 NBA Finals against Utah, Kerr missed the three-pointer, grabbed his own rebound, and made a pass to Jordan who made a crucial three-point play putting them in the lead for good. The play helped Chicago win the game and tie the series at one. The Bulls won the series in six games. In his first four seasons with Chicago, Kerr played in all 82 games and over his Bulls career averaged 23.2 minutes and 8.2 points per game. Kerr ranks number two, five, and eight all time on the NBA's list of single season leaders in three point shooting percentage. His best season was in 1994-95, when he shot just over 52%. In January 1999, Kerr was acquired by the San Antonio Spurs in a sign-and-trade deal with the Bulls. The Spurs reached the 1999 NBA Finals and won their first NBA championship with a 4-1 series victory over the New York Knicks. Kerr became the second player to win four straight NBA titles without being a part of the 1960s Boston Celtics dynasty the other being Frank Saul, who won four straight with Rochester and Minneapolis from 1951 to 1954. Kerr and Saul were the only two players in NBA history to have won two championships with two different teams in consecutive seasons until Patrick McCaw achieved the same feat in 2019. The champion was then traded to the Portland Trailblazers alongside on July 2001. He would remain in Portland for the 2001-2002 season, playing in 65 games before returning again to San Antonio in 2002. Kerr played in nearly every game the following year, which was his final season in the league. In Game 6 of the 2003 Western Conference Finals against the Dallas Mavericks, Kerr made four second-half three-pointers that helped eliminate Dallas. The Spurs eventually won the NBA championship by beating the New Jersey Nets in the 2003 NBA Finals with 4-2. Kerr announced his retirement after the 2003 NBA Finals. During his NBA career, he played 910 regular season games. He retired as the league's all-time leader in single season three-point shooting percentage and career three-point shooting percentage. Kerr won a total of five NBA championships as a player. After wrapping up his career in 2003 with San Antonio, Kerr became a broadcast analyst for Turner Network Television (TNT), offering commentary alongside analysts. During his tenure, he performed a segment sponsored by Coors Light 
called Steve's Refreshing Thoughts in which he brought up interesting facts in NBA history. This segment continued through sponsorship and became known as Steve Wonders, sponsored by Sprint. In the same time period, Kerr also contributed to Yahoo as an NBA commentator. Kerr left broadcasting in 2007 to become general manager for the Phoenix Suns. In 2008, the Suns were eliminated by the San Antonio Spurs in five games in the first round of the playoffs, and in December that year, Kerr continued to remake the Suns roster by trading players from team to team. On June 15, 2010, Kerr stepped down as president and general manager of the Suns. He continued to own a 1% share of the Suns organization until 2014. On May 14, 2014, Kerr reached an agreement to become the head coach for the Golden State Warriors. During the 2014-15 season, the team's offense employed elements of the triangle offense from his playing days in Chicago under Phil Jackson. The Warriors ultimately finished with one of the best regular seasons in NBA history and the greatest in the team's 69-year history. The Warriors faced the Cleveland Cavaliers in the finals. Kerr and rival coach David Blatt were both in their first season as NBA head coaches, and this was the first time a pair of rookie head coaches faced each other in the NBA Finals since the NBA's first year of existence. The Warriors went on to win the championship in six games, defeating the Cavaliers 4-2 in the series to give Kerr his sixth championship and first as a head coach. In 2015-16 season, Kerr returned to coaching after missing 43 games, but warned he might need to miss games occasionally if there was a reoccurrence of the headaches and pain related to the spinal fluid leak that sidelined him. That year, Golden State broke the 1995-96 Chicago Bulls 72-10 record by winning 73 games. Kerr became the first person in NBA history to be a part of a 70 wins team as a player and a head coach. He was named the 2015-16 NBA Coach of the Year, and he would lead the Warriors to the 2016 NBA Finals where they would again face the Cleveland Cavaliers, but sadly, the Warriors lost in seven games. Kerr missed time during the 2017 playoffs due to recurring back issues about public criticism of officiating during a radio interview. Associate head coach Mike Brown has acted as acting head coach during periods of Kerr's absence, and Brown continued head coaching into the playoffs, leading the Warriors to a 12-0 record in the postseason. Kerr then returned for the 2017 NBA Finals, where he led the Warriors to victory over the Cleveland Cavaliers in five games. The Warriors finished the playoffs with a 16-1 record, the best postseason winning percentage in NBA history. Kerr is the fourth coach in NBA history to win two championships in his first three seasons of coaching. He won his third championship as a head coach when the Warriors defeated the Cleveland Cavaliers in the 2018 NBA Finals in four games to give Kerr his eighth championship of his career. Steve Kerr's record proved that his skill is not only limited to the court as a player, but even as the team's coach, he is creating a legacy. Make sure to keep posted with our videos to keep yourselves updated with your favorite star's whereabouts. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more.